Tonight, we have a new crime confession for you, this time from a professional car thief. What type of cars would he steal? How would he get them? And what might stop him? It's part of an ongoing series by KGW investigative reporter Kylie Boshi. Kyle? You know, we started this series by talking to burglars, then a credit car thief, and tonight a professional car thief. These former bad guys are doing some good, sharing their experiences to help you avoid becoming a victim. They strike in a flash. Car thieves rip off all makes and models. In the U.S., a car is stolen every 45 seconds. So who's behind this crime? My name is David McCoy, and I'm a car thief. David McCoy served his time in prison. Now he's coming clean to help you avoid becoming a victim of auto theft. When I first started, it wasn't that I was going out looking for cars. It was more of an opportunity and a joy ride. And then uh, as I got older, it turned into an opportunity to make some money. There's no rhyme or reason when I picked the cars that I picked. Everything from classic vehicles to broken down Hondas. The big trucks are very, very easy. You know, there's only so many key cuts. You know, you think with a thirty or forty thousand dollar vehicle that it'd be difficult, but the the ignition system on them is just the. There's only so many key cuts. You know, certain vehicles, you can use shave keys. Uh, you know, if they're higher end vehicles, you might have to have one custom made. And so if you have a key guy, pay your 150, 200 bucks, and no questions asked, they give you the key. A lot of people keep an extra key. Uh, there's always, there's usually a valet key in the owner's manual in most cars, if the owner's I guess are lackadaisical and leave it in there. So it's a pretty common occurrence. If it has a steering wheel lock, I'm not even gonna go near the car. I mean, if you want the blinking light just to blink, that's fine. But if somebody opens up the driver's side door, it disarms itself. It's best to pay the extra 50 bucks and have it done right. The most important thing is just lock it up. It doesn't matter if it's parked in the driveway or your home, lock the vehicle, because you never know. I can't change what I've done in the past. Um, I can't look in the rear view mirror. I can only do the next right thing and hope that, uh, that I don't create puddles in my little pond, you know? And as long as I do the next right thing, hopefully my life will get a little bit better. Another tip, get the LoJack system used to track and recover stolen vehicles. David said he once stole a car with that LoJack system. He said it was scary. The windows, they wouldn't go down. The doors wouldn't open. He was stuck. He's freaked out. So I know this is an ongoing series for you. What's next? It's really a good question. We'd love to hear from the viewers who they'd like to hear from. Maybe a con man, a telemarketer, maybe a package thief. So if email us or call us, give us some ideas of who you'd like to talk to, and we'll continue the series, Crime Confessions. Boy, I can't wait to see the next Crime Confession. That was great. I hope David does make good with his life. You bet. Thank you, Kyle.